let's take a look at measuring performance behaviors. Competencies are measurable clusters of knowledge, skills, and abilities, known as KSAs, that are critical in determining how results will be achieved. We can consider two types of competencies. First, differentiating competencies are those that allow us to distinguish between average and superior performers. Second, threshold competencies are those that everyone needs to display to do a job on a minimally adequate standard. Competencies should be defined in behavioral terms. To understand the extent to which an employee possesses a competency, we measure indicators. Each indicator is an observable behavior that gives us information regarding the competency in question. Five indicators whose presence would indicate the existence of a consideration competency are the following. Supports direct reports projects. Asks about the well-being of employees' lives outside of work encourages direct reports to reach their established goals, gets to know employees personally, and shows respect for employees' work and personal lives. In describing a competency, the following components must be present. A definition, a description of the specific behavioral indicators that can be observed when someone demonstrates a competency effectively a description of the behaviors that are likely to occur when someone does not demonstrate the competency effectively, and a list of suggestions for developing the competency in question. In contrast to the measurement of results, the measurement of competencies is intrinsically judgmental. In other words, competencies are measured using data provided by individuals who make a judgment regarding the extent to which the competency is present. Two types of systems are used to evaluate competencies, comparative systems and absolute systems. Comparative systems based measurement on comparing employees to one another, whereas absolute systems base the measurement on comparing employees with the prescribed performance standard.